This photo is one of the first captured shortly after the blasts went off. The man in the cowboy hat is 52-year-old Carlos Arredondo, who ran toward the chaos when others were running away. Blood is everywhere, people asking for help, people crying, and people running away. The smoke and the smell, too, was very powerful there. America has heard Arredondo's story before. When his 20-year-old son was killed in Iraq in 2004, he was inconsolable. In his agony and rage, he set a van on fire and received help through counseling. Seven years later, his other son committed suicide. Arredondo was at the marathon as part of his healing process, giving out flags at the finish line in honor of veterans. When the bomb went off, he ran to the aid of a man lying on the sidewalk, missing his legs. I went into the ground to come for him and let him know that he's okay, the ambulance is on the way, they stay still, don't move. And I ended up picking him up from the ground to put him in a, in a wheelchair. They just arrived. You see yourself as a hero? No, I'm not. Why? Because I, I, I wasn't doing nothing different from the others first respond who arrived at the scene. Arredondo says he could not help his own sons but he believes fate helped him to save someone else's son yesterday. What would they have thought of what you did yesterday? They will see it's a father who really care for, for others and also who love them and never going to forget them. As he left the scene yesterday, Arredondo had one flag left. He told those around him, America is bleeding. Terrell Brown, CBS News. Boston.